Well, hello there guys. Uh, Elton here. Uh, man, it's uh, finally a nice day here today. It's uh, Sunday, April 28th. And, uh, oh, middle of the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Avenue Mayfair, but actually that sign, maybe it should read Mayfair Avenue because this is a very English part of Montreal. We're in the Notre Dame de Grasse sector, aka NDG, at the corner of Summerlit Avenue. And, uh, hey Dave, look, there's a truck just like yours. And you might have noticed the quality is way better than before. That's because I got a, well, not a new camera, but it's slightly used. It's a year old. It's a Nikon D500. I'm loving it. This is the first time I get to film it on a, and test it on a perfect day like today. Well, perfect. I mean, a little bit of wind, though. It's still cold, but, oh my God, the zoom works great. The color's great. Sharpness is fantastic. And look at that, I didn't even notice that from farther away, that this is an old Ford uh, uh, F550. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a video of this. I'm going to stop here right now, because this thing is really nicely done. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, it's still bloody nice. Yeah, it is bloody nice, actually. Hmm. I don't know, I don't feel like filming it, I don't know why. It's a bloody nice shape. It's very nicely redone, repainted. Nice shade of blue. Very nice. But well, I don't feel like making a video of it. So uh, there's uh, there's a lot of advantages, and there's a couple of disadvantages to having a camera like this again. Now, years ago, a couple of years ago, I had a Nikon D3100, which was great. I bought it in 2012. Took terrific pictures. It filmed very well. Uh, but I broke the damn thing. It was a March day. Uh, a couple of years ago, and, uh, gee, this looks my, like my friend Ed's house, no? Yeah. Oh, anyway. Well, Ed, if you see your house, then I'm an idiot, you know, because I'm not going to go knocking on somebody's house, I don't know, but I don't think you drive a Honda, so I don't think it's your house. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? Sorry about that, I've noticed this camera likes to, uh, stop recording a little too easily. I think if there's a little too much movement, actually. It doesn't really dig it too well. There's that Land Rover that looks like it got pancaked. Anyway, as I was trying to say, so the uh, this camera is a large professional type body, just like the uh, camera that unfortunately I broke two years ago, the uh, 31 D3100 that I broke the lens when I slipped on ice and it fell out of my hands. And so anyway, so after that I had the Nikon uh, Coolpix A900. This is also Coolpix, but that one was a uh, compact camera. It had a terrific image, as you see. Sounds great, da da da, da. but unfortunately, uh, it there, you know. And now that I have, you know, I I still have to get the the uh, Canon, uh, which I've been shooting with for almost a year. I have to get that one fixed. Uh, and again, it's just they're they're not these compact cameras are not made for heavy use. They're not made for fucking the heavy uh, use that I put them through almost day in day out. It's fucking sunny. It's hot. It's cold. It's windy. It's raining. It's snowing. I go any fucking way, man. And I do my thing, you know? And they don't just, they don't seem to cut the mustard, really, because that D3100 Nikon that I had, what a beautiful home, wow. Anyway, that, damn it, I hear a freight. Anyway, freight train. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, the, uh, these ca the D3100, I had that camera four years, man. I used it four years, man. I don't know how many, I don't know how many thousands of videos alone I must have filmed with that camera. No problem. One of the downsides though to a heavier camera like this is that I uh, was watching this walking video I filmed yesterday on Hochelaga Boulevard and uh, uh, I have to be more careful about how I walk and hold the camera because it is heavier so it does shake a little more comparatively to that Canon I had or that Nikon. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Canon fixed probably and uh, you know, use it uh, as a spare probably because it's, uh, it's fragile, you know? It's like a fucking beautiful Jaguar. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's fragile. Fragile. And I think now we're on, uh, what street am I on? That's what I thought, Terrebonne, just like the town, Terrebonne, which ironically, I lived in back in the day. Me and my family back in the early 80s. But we didn't live there for long, no. No, sir. Wait, what did I just see there? Is that, a, is that an old SL? What is that car there? What's that car? This here, what's that? Oh, look at that. 
Oh, I thought it was a Pro for a second. It's just a typical Audi. It's fucking raining at these cars here in Montreal, these Audis. We got an old Chevy Lumina, eh? Let's go get a closer look. It looks in good shape. Hey, you know, somewhere around here, not far from here, I went to go see my friend I was talking about before, my friend Ed, who lives around here. And I'm leaving his house, and I'm walking down. I don't know what street it was. It was somewhere around here. And what did I see in the driveway was, uh, how should I say, the 80s version of this. Man, that thing is clean. No, the 80s version of that would have been a station wagon, and it was a Ford LTD station wagon. I don't know. Uh, 1981 to, let's say, uh, 87. That's right. I wouldn't mind living here. I could see myself living here. No problem, you know? Nice, modest life. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too big. Beautiful historical homes, all different from the next, it seems. It's all right. And now you're walking with me virtually towards Sherbrooke Street. And there's two reasons why I'm walking south here is because of the fact that... Uh, hey, look, Fix It Again Tuesday. That's what FIA stands for. Fix It Again Tuesday, Fix It Again Thursday. Doesn't matter, it's crap. But they make, but you know, one thing I gotta love about those Fiat, so they're always different colors, you know? Why can't other manufacturers, how come they never picked up on that? Like those fucking bean counters at Ford, for example, or GM. Anyway, I'm walking down this way because of the lighting, because the sun is kind of behind me. And secondly, also because of the fact that uh, I'm walking with the wind, the wind's coming from the north. Yeah. Oh man, I'm loving this camera. Hey, I'm telling you, I thought this thing was used. I don't even think it is used. I opened the box. Okay, instructions, the warranty, uh, instructions, the lens cap, uh, the uh, the um, the strap, which I have around my neck, by the way. I have the camera around my neck. Okay? I don't have a choice. I have to do this now. It's uh, I've scrapped too many cameras. I'm ha not happy with myself. I'm an idiot, okay? I want to stop being stupid with cameras and be more careful. Anyway, all that stuff was in the bag, uh, in the plastic, clear plastic wrapping. So, the camera didn't look used. I don't know, man. You know, it's weird. So, how much did it cost me on Amazon? Shipping included, tax included, $226. Man, that's cheap, man. For a professional type camera like this, and I was sold on it when I read a review saying on uh, Google, I read a review saying that it was like, um, what did people say about it? They say that it was, it was like the one to have, the D500. It was like the creme de la creme. You know? Look at big trees. I love that. I miss that about NDG. Look at these huge trees. You want to see huge trees in Hoshalaga where I live, you better go to a park. Well, no, I mean, there are a lot of old trees, but not as many as here, you know? Which is why, hence the reason why when the ice storm happened in 1998, oh, there was a lot of down branches. Oh my goodness, it was quite a mess. But unfortunately, at that time, I was not into photography. Forget about filming. I didn't start filming anything until end of 2008, almost. You know? So, uh, yeah. And I see from here that this street, uh, Mayfair, we're on, which, by the way, reminds me of a Canadian Plymouth Mayfair, which was basically a Canadian version of the uh, Plymouth Belvedere. And, wow, well, that's a lot of junk, you know? Oh no, that's not Sherbrooke, is it? Oh no, this is Monkland Street, pardon my French. Another thing that's mind-boggling about this camera, blows my fucking mind away, is the fact that the camera does not use lithium batteries. Imagine how blown away I was when I saw that. Batteries in the clear plastic. No, the fucking batteries are alkaline. Four of them, double A. Unreal. Let me just take a quick look here. nothing like having a lens uh, sorry there's nothing like having a zoom on a camera which allows you to see what you can't see when you're visually impaired like me Monkland and Monkland of course go up there when you get closer to the carry it becomes very uh, commercial mix of a uh, commercial residential mostly commercial and uh, well it's uh, it's um, sorry I'm losing my train of thought it's kind of neat, but it's kind of like the plateau. I don't know. It's it's, uh, it's a lot of money, you know. NDG, I used to live here. It became very, uh, unfortunately, very expensive for me to live in. I think like so many other people, I'm going to continue here. 
we're gonna hop, skip, and jump out of here. What happens if I dangle the camera like that? Is it gonna keep recording? It's not gonna. It's not gonna. It will keep recording. Not very straight, though. Eh? You're a strange animal. That's what I know. Well, I guess it's Mayfair continued because there's no street sign here, so. Good looking Chevy there. I have never walked on this street before, I think, in my life. Let alone down this part here. Actually, this gives me an idea. I think there's a uh, there's an old car dealer which should be which specializes in Volkswagens. It is, would be the second of this type I finish I visit today. That's not old. And uh, my friend told me to go check it out. He says there's an old car there or two, so maybe I'll hop on the scrap STM scrap and go check it out. Duh. Check it, check it, check it out. Duh. I don't know what it is with these uh, battery indicators and these cameras though, you know, like it's saying half full and then it did that yesterday, it was filming for a while and then you turn it off for a while and you turn it back on and it says it's full. Well, it doesn't say, but it shows. There's a good looking uh, Taurus. Yeah, finally a beautiful day in the city. I'm starting to wonder if I should have filmed that F-350 though, you know. I mean, you know the expression, uh, here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you guys, you know old cars like me, you know this stuff to a T, you know. Uh, you see a few here now and then, and then all of a sudden they're all fucking gone. Just beautiful homes. I mean, I can't say enough. That's one reason why I film walks down here. They're just beautiful homes. And that Dodge Durango has definitely gotten my fancy, I have to say. I have to say, I have to say, oh my god, I'm probably talking too loud as usual. Yeah. Oh man, it's a longer street than I thought. That's all right. That's all right, man. Look at that. See what I mean? How people got more money than they used to in this area? Look at this fucking Beamer parked here. That's not a cheap Beamer either. That's like, that looks like a... Uh, I don't know. It looks like a 750i or something. I don't know. Yeah. I am walking down Mayfair Street. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. And I see a scooter under wrapping. Because you have to have it wrapped up to prevent the rain. From getting it wet, I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, now it feels good to be out. It wasn't nice like this this morning. Let me tell you. Oh no way, no sorry, Bob. So you know one of the reasons what's great about making videos like this and these walking videos, these old streets, is that you know I get comments from people sometimes about how uh, wow, look at this, eh, <laughs> Mr. McBride, another mech like me using a Toyota work. A Toyota for work, that's all right. Anyway, uh, uh, it, the thing is cool is you know, occasionally I get people saying, oh, you know, I appreciate watching your walking videos. I used to live in this sector. I used to live in that sector, whatever. And I even got one yesterday. It was very uh, heartwarming, you know, and the guy was telling me he... Uh, been living in Tokyo for 20 years and uh, divorced from his wife and he's going to come back to Montreal because one of the reasons why, well, uh, my videos made him homesick and that's what Montreal is. Montreal has that effect on people, you know, it's just, even though, mind you, I complain about a lot of shit about the city, like the STM for those fucking bastards, for example, but I still love this city. If I didn't, I, I would, why would I want to stay here for? Oh, by the way, over there, you see at the end of the road there, that's the uh, AMT commuter train line. Another thing that irks me about the city is not so much the company. I mean, I love their trains and everything. Service is good, but... Uh, listen, when you're talking about a company that changes their name twice in one year, there's something wrong with the fucking management. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, uh, that's it. That's all there. We're finishing it off here. And uh, there's a nice-looking Cadillac uh, CTS, I guess. Uh, Good-looking automobile there. Let's get a little bit of a shot of it. Oh, look at that. It's the wagon part of it. Well, I used to have an ad for one of those. That's going to be a collector's item in the future. They didn't make of those wagon-type ones. And now we finish here at uh, Boulevard des Maisonneuves, which is a very long street, which goes all the way to downtown Montreal, which is that way. There you go. Good day for walking, running, physical activity, biking, laughing, eating, drinking, whatever. So that's it, guys. Hope you liked it. And uh, talk to you later. And uh, arrivederci.